All right, so this is the moment we have all been waiting for, at least myself. I have been waiting to see if I can put a glass screen protector on this Note 7. So this is from a company, it's called Lamshaw. It's $22.99 for this specific one. They had a bunch of different colors. Those were all $16.99. And I don't know if I'm wrong for thinking that being that this is clear, that it's got the coating all around, but I know all the ones with the color usually only have the adhesive where the color is. It's not on the whole front part of the screen right here. It's just on the frame. So I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong for thinking that being that this one's all the way clear and they charge more, that this has adhesive all over it. About to find out. I opened it already, but I didn't take it out of the wrap. So this is what killed me. It says explosion proof. What the hell? Is my phone? So if my phone explodes, is the glass gonna be okay or what? I don't know. So super tempering process with tiny crack particles which can prevent the screen burst. Also, I guess when it cracks, it's not gonna just like shatter all over. It'll just have a crack. Cause like how this, I'm assuming they're considering that an explosion or like that a mini explosion or something. Cause yeah, I done cracked it on my note. But anyway, here we go. Your little wipes and everything like that. I really don't want to touch it, but it seems to have adhesive all over it. I can definitely see it on the corners. We're just going to hope. I'm going to end up taking this off in a later video to find out for real, but I'm going to put it on the phone. I'm going to use it. I'm going to do a case test with this specific screen protector. And once it's there, sitting perfect, you just tap the center to it here. Okay, so there's no adhesive on the... Uh, there's no adhesive on the center. And we already know how these screen protectors work. <sighs> well, for now, I don't know, can't judge it, but there's no adhesive. As you can see, I'm trying to make it so you can see that water effect. Yeah, there's really only a slight adhesive strip around. There go them millions of little dots again. Yeah, just like how the Zag glass had those millions of little dots on it, if y'all saw my Zag glass video. But uh, yeah, let's see if you can see. Yeah, you see the rainbow water effect? So it definitely has that. Now you see that little adhesive that's going all the way around it? I thought that was a second part to the screen protector, but it's not, it's just the screen protector. This is another accessory that's kind of hard to light right now. Or thing is, we're gonna try this with some cases. Uh, I don't know. All right, so yeah, one thing I noticed before I dive into a little test, look at the edge, how it's kind of halfway up. So that's already a good sign. Like I can probably fit my nail underneath it. But yeah, that's probably a, a sign that it's not gonna stay on with the case. Um, we already know how this goes, but yeah, we're gonna try it out. Look at that, I'm barely even tapping it and then that watering effect, well, whew, 22 bucks. I don't know, man. I don't know about that. Off the bat, I can tell you, I don't like these adhesive little strips right there, especially on the, the silver phone. Uh, don't know why this costs more than all the other ones. I think because this is the only one that's available, the other ones weren't. So, edge test right off the bat. Edge works. Let's try a couple of different scenarios. Straight edge. Let's go uh, pick a random map. Samsung Notes. Slide out from the edge. Edge works. So, I mean, it seems to work. The issue with the uh, invisible shield was when you tried to type. Not even invisible shield, but even big boy cases like Otterbox, when you try to type on them. Hello, how are you doing? today so uh yeah everything seems to be responsive i'm gonna see if i can pull up the device diagnostic test yeah so here we go star pound zero star pound yep pulls up all the device diagnostics so we're gonna do touch and we're gonna try to beat it and i'm flush on the edge like my finger was perfectly on the edge right there actually it was kind of interesting to like try to swipe on it that less pronounced edge basically is better what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I kind of hear the sound of the, uh, listen to this sound. Well, it's kind of hard to hear, but there's a sound, it feels like the adhesive is coming up once I hit it or something. Anyway, that's enough tests with this for right now. And we're gonna do some case tests. So I was gonna wait to put, you know, this phone in some cases, but nothing on here tells me that I should wait to put any cases on it. It did say that not all cases will fit, like the tight fitting cases may pop it off or whatever. So I'll take the disclaimer and we're just gonna go ahead and just put it in. But you wanna see some nonsense? I can see the rainbow effect right now. Look at that. That is just, nah, man, I can't have, you know, I can't have that liquid looking stayed on my phone, man. I can't have that. I haven't even put it in the case yet, but that's there. Like, that's right down the center of the screen. Come on, man, who who wants that on their device? I don't. So yeah, I'm not rocking with this one at all. I don't even think I should do a case test. Like, huh, we'll do a case test just to see. Why not? Yeah, I already feel it. It just feels like it's about to pop off. 
Yeah, you hear the noise? Yeah, that's all in though. It's not up yet, at least. Yeah, it's not up yet. Yeah, it's up. You hear? When I click. Yeah, this ain't gonna work with your cases, man. This ain't gonna, <laughs> this isn't gonna work. I knew it wasn't gonna work. Like, come on, man. Well, if you're dreaming about a glass screen protector, <laughs> that dream has not come true. Yeah, sorry to spoil your dreams, but uh, that did not come true. You see that? Yeah. Yep, 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 that's no good. And it's already starting to push up up here. Like I can see the adhesive getting pushed up. So, yep, it failed the glass screen protector test. So I will be removing this from my device and it was worth a try. Shout out Red Sox from GA for letting me get this. Appreciate you, man. But sorry to ruin everybody else's dreams. Not happening. Let's take it off. Straightforward. That comes up super easy. Cause once again, the adhesive is only on the sides. Like what's the problem with putting the adhesive on the screen? Like didn't every time before we put the adhesive on the screen? What is this about? Like, why are we not doing that now? This isn't, yeah, this isn't gonna cut it. Once again, the adhesive is right there on the screen. Um, I'm not gonna break this because this is disrespect. Yeah, it's kind of strong too. It's kind of strong. It's pretty strong. Well, I didn't mean to break it. <laughs> well, I guess I did because I was bending it. But um, yeah, I should have did some real tests. I should have tried to explode it, whatever that means, you know? I should have did some tests, but like, why do tests if I don't recommend the product? So I don't recommend the product, so we broke it. Uh, yeah, don't buy a glass screen protector for your Note 7. They don't work. Oh wow, there's glass shards over everywhere. Oops, didn't mean to do that.